Here we are underneath the kitchen sink. You can see the garbage disposal here. And so we'll get take a look underneath it. And you'll see the cord goes in to it. And one thing I want to point out, I'm going to use this little Allen wrench tool here to point this out. Right here, and on the bottom of garbage disposals, there's a reset button. It's a little red button. Use your finger and push that in. If when the garbage disposal jams up, you leave the switch on too long, you'll hear a click, and it'll it's a protection inside the motor that shuts the motor down. There's a little circuit breaker built inside the unit, and that protects the motor from burning out. So after that click goes, the motor will cool down generally about 30 seconds to one minute. You'll hear another click. Sometimes you don't hear the click. Then come and push this in. If you push it in now, nothing will happen. You won't hear anything. But when it kicks out, it's kind of like a circuit breaker. It'll pop out a little bit, and then you push it in. It'll click, and you'll you'll reset that circuit breaker, and then you can use your switch to turn it on again. So that's just a little reset button on the bottom of the garbage disposal. So if you're jammed, you take this wrench that comes with the garbage disposal, and or you can just use a regular Allen wrench if you don't have this or you lost it, and insert it in the center, feel around till you get it in there, and then you can take it and you can work it back and forth like that to free up whatever is stuck in there. This will manually rotate the blades inside the disposal so that you can loosen up whatever's in there. Okay, And then and you want to do this without sticking your hand down in the disposal unless you absolutely have to. Try this first and loosen it up this way. Okay, uh, If you're going to put your hand in the garbage disposal, I would suggest you, whatever side the switch is on to operate the disposal, you use that hand to stick it down in there so that you don't have a moment of brain fade and you have your hand in the disposal and you reach over and hit the switch. It just If you use the hand that's on the same side as the switch, you'd have to cross your body to do that. You wouldn't be able to reach the switch in most cases. So it's like a little safety thing. So always, if you're going to put your hand in there to get something out, use the hand that's on the side as the switch for safety. So that's how to free up your jammed garbage disposal. This is Contractor John. If you have any comments or questions, please visit my blog at ContractorJohn.com. Have a blessed day.